Hello everyone and welcome back on to another video. I am the Blue Knight and today we're looking at the Lego video. This is a new theme and it comes with seven sets. You get six beatboxes and then a bandmate which is like a collectible minifigure series. The beatboxes are $20 each and then the bandmates each character is $5. Each beatbox comes with a brick separator. These beat bits tires a minifigure and a beatbox. Looking at the minifigure, he has an amazing new head mode, which I really like. He has the blue part is like transparent with like white pastel mixed in with it. He has a nice gold printing, a nice dark blue record. He has arm printing, and I really like him overall. I really do like his color scheme the most about him. They come in these boxes where the minifigure would sit on the inside with uh, 12 beat bits on, and with them he has 6 on either side. And each character comes with 2 beat bits which are exclusive to themselves. And this character comes with this neon dancer with like glow sticks and then this cosmic uh, Beat bit, but I I think it just add like some cosmic design. On the back back of the box, you come with this new case and lid, which are really nice. On the case, you have enough room for the tires, and on the back of the lid, you have a little diorama that is uh, exclusively made for each character. And because he's an alien, he has a UFO with like his laser beam. Next up, we have the Candy Mermaid. Uh, she is a nice figure with two new pieces. The first being her hair piece in this nice new aqua and pink. I'm sorry, the aqua is not new, just the hair piece. Uh, she has this new mermaid tail, which is like an ice cream waffle cone. And she comes with this pink striped guitar, which is really nice. She does not come with any iron printing, but that is okay. And her two tires is this ice cream design, which looks like it would be an ice cream shop's sign. And then some musical uh, instrument with music notes in front of curtains, as if they're on a play. The back of her beatbox is this ice cream cone with ice cream and a cherry on top. And I think they did a really nice job portraying this. Uh, next up, we have the Hip Hop Robot Beatbox. He has these gear pieces on the side of his uh, beatbox itself. And he comes in this nice gold and black coloration. He has this new headpiece, which is a, like a gold visor with the sound bars. And it comes with the black hill motor in with it. He does come with these two vertebral arms to hold his microphone while he's dancing. I like his gold jacket and his belt with that little crown as the centerpiece. I like the gold uh, tech technology like motherboard design on his pants. And I like his necklace, how it's the USB cord and then a music note charm. Hit the back of his beatbox is this stereo using these Speed Champions rims for the speakers. That's a really nice build. Next up, we have the Party Llama Beatbox. It comes with a llama with this new head mode with sunglasses, and I like the design of it. I do wish he was kind of like smiling. It kind of looks like he's smoking some like evil plan. He comes with these green maracas, a nice torso and leg printing, and gray roller skates. He has a wrist, a wristband bracelet printing, and then these triangles on the side of his face. His two tires are his uh, Morocco design, and from like palm tree leaves, palm fronds, and then the other one is just like a tropical design. The back of his beatbox is this palm tree belt 
where you have the blue sky, the yellow sand, some little like reeds or plantation, a nice boat for the palm tree trunk, and for the palm fronds on top. Next up, we have the pirate, Punk Pirate Beatbox. Uh, this one is personally my favorite. I love the color scheme. And he comes with two new modes. The first being this teal mohawk with a salmon bandana. And then the second being a guitar as an anchor. He has awesome torso and leg printings as well as a face. And he does come with some art, uh, arm printing for like this piranha tattoo with the mohawk. Uh, leather bracelet and then he comes with his hook hand. You guys better look at the anchor guitar. His two tires is this pirate face. I'm not sure if the symbol is supposed to spell anything on the bottom of the just like stuff a pirate would use. And then the other one is like the danger sign where you have the skull and then the bones on the bottom. And I like how they include the hook hand on one of the bones. The back of he his beat box is this ankle build. It's very uh, simple, but it looks great. Next up, we have the last beat box, which is the Unicorn DJ. She comes with this new head mode that I kind of like and I don't like at the same time. I, I like it because it's new and it really portrays the unicorn, but I don't like the mane that she has. I think it would have been better if it was down and not flowing in the wind, or if they just had more to the mane than what is here. She comes with a, a nice iron printing down below, and then on her left arm she has something up on her shoulder. She has this nice record in purple with like a shooting star that se kind of seems to be like her thing. She's like a cosmic unicorn. I do like her torso printing. It looks really nice. Uh, she has the arm printing, printing on her shoulder is a music note with like the shooting star and then the top of her outfit's colors were rainbow. And then she has her two exclusive tires. Uh, one being this microphone with like horse ears, which is really cool. And then she has this like cloud castle with like the rainbow bridge, still using her colors to another cloud. And it looks really nice. The back of her beatbox comes with this build for a unicorn. You have the one by one heart tires for the eyes and then she has this white piece for her horn. And I like the teal hair, teal color for the mane. And that is all the beat boxes. Next we get these bandmates. That is like a collectible minifigure series. There is a total of 12 of them. Oops. First up, we have the bunny dancer. Uh, she has this new head mode, which is really nice. I did like her torso printing. Her leg printing looks nice. I almost want to say it is dull molded. But looking at it again, you see the top of the legs and the bottom of the legs the same color. So I'm going to just assume now that it's not dull molded. She comes with a stereo that we have seen before as an accessory, but it is uh, a teal bloom, a teal color, I mean. Uh, next up, we have this Banshee single with Bellatrix's hairpiece, uh, the Ninjago ghost tail from the Possession season, and then she has like these shoulder pads and a microphone. I love her torso printing and her face printing. Then we have this ice cream saxophonist. He has a new head mode piece to represent ice cream with hot fudge as his hair. And then here's a cherry on top. He does come with the saxophone, which you have seen before. 
and then he has a nice printing for his torso and legs. His legs is the like waffle cone for ice cream print design, kind of like the candy mermaid's tail. Then we have this candy cheerleader. She has nice pink pom poms. Uh, the hair piece from Harley Quinn from the Lego Batman movie is nice in this pink and blue, which we have seen before, I believe, in the Lego movie series 2, collectible minifigure series. She does come with dual motor legs, and I really like her printing overall. Next, we have this leopard with the new head mode, which is also used for the red panda. He has a record, nice printing, and he also comes with the tail piece. Next up, we have this cowboy, all dressed up in blue. He has a blue cowboy hat, blue side buttons, blue torso, and blue legs. He, his only accessory is the microphone. Next up, we have the red panda, who has the same head mode as the leopard. Uh, a tail as well, probably an orange with the red tip. He comes with the stereo in gray. I'm not fan of, not a big fan of his fanny pack on his torso, but it is a great design. Then we have this alien guitarist with the hail mode with the tenai, which is new, and she comes with this teal guitar. Overall, it is a good print. We have this genie who has this new tambourine. I do like her tail with the pink swords and and it's an avatar. It almost reminds me of something from a Disney Lego set. I do like her pink ponytail that she has. Down below we have this like samurai uh, artist dude. He comes with Grand Madan's headpiece, well, helmet and purple. He comes with like the Batman's mouth uh, guard piece for when there's underwater. Not sure why he comes with that. He comes with a microphone and I like his torso and leg printing. Next up we have this amazing shark dude. He has this new shark head mold that does have a tail, the fin, and a pink mohawk. I love his printing and I can see him jamming out with the punk pirate beatbox. And then finally we have this werewolf drummer. He has nothing new, we've seen this head mold piece before, it's just different printing for the eyes. I love his Toy Story and Lake printings, and he comes with two bones as drumsticks. Uh, these will be coming in this box instead of the bag, like the Collectible Minifigure series. Each box you get one minifigure and three tires, which you just saw. Here's some better looking at the arm printing and torso printings for some of the characters. Here's another photo. Here you can see the cowboy's face with his blue side buttons and eyebrows. You can see the banshee's face and torso printing more. Here's a better look at the candy cheerleader and she has like sprinkles on the side of her face. And here's a look at the shike dude's outfit which is totally amazing. So I really like this theme. There are a few that's a, a few minifigures I want to get, uh, like the Banshee Lady, I want to try to get her f from this series. And then I love the Punk Pirate beatbox, so he's going to be one that I pick up. Uh, tell me down below in the, descript in the comment section which beatbox you want and which bandmate you want the most, or if you don't really like this theme and you aren't going to get it at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.